Kelly, how are you? Welcome to my channel where we do lots of crazy frugal things and this week is another food challenge following up from the very first $20 challenge where I did 35 meals for $20 my $20 but this time I have $20 and my change from last time $1.20 so I'm going to shop in my pantry and my freezer and see what meals we can come up with this time so let's go shopping So straight away, of course, thinking breakfast, lunch, and dinner are snacks. Just to try and mix it up a little bit, although I'll probably repeat some meals again. Uh, so we're just going to grab some things and see what we end up with. Okay. Uh, okay. Breakfast. Yep. All right. Got some good old wheat bix Now, this wheat bix was given to me for free. I have a lady at Zumba, she's um, from Germany, and she saw the ad on TV, We Bix Kids are Aussie Kids, so she thought she'd try it, and she's like, it is not taste good. So there's still um, half a packet, but what I'm going to do is claim that I paid the home brand price $3.20 for it, so I'm going to include that in my cost. So I'll put that down and keep shopping. Oh. This is my pasta that I had left from last time. Um, this pasta cost me 50 cents, so I'm gonna see, uh, cause I've got my chicken left over, yes. So I'm gonna make uh, a risoni with this. Oh, my potatoes, these are left from the last challenge. Got strawberry jelly. I'm just grabbing random things and I'll probably get to the end and go. I have no idea. <laughs> okay. Uh we do brownies. We do brownies. Okay. Oh, and I'm gonna put the mandarins in that I got. So and um loaf of bread. I'm gonna put that in there. I'm wondering if I'd be able to make a little chicken curry with the chicken that's left over. Um, I'll put them down and work out the price. We have some self-raising flour for 50 cents, so I'm gonna put that. Let's go to the fridge and the freezer and we'll see what we have in there. All right. <laughs> Here's my uh, leftover tuna. Actually, let's find the chicken. I'll throw the tuna in there. We have the two chicken and our tuna left over from last time. To make oh I'm gonna make oh ooh. I'm going to make a lasagna Woo! I'm going to make lasagna we have um, mint so this was $8.99 a kilo so half of this is like $4.49 so I'm gonna buy that and then we have this shush we have this uh, jar of pasta sauce, that was 50 cents. We have this packet of pasta, that was 50 cents. And we have the leftover veggies, so we're gonna add that. Of course, we're gonna add, um, we'll use some milk and butter and flour, so that counts as pantry. Um, you know what, we're just gonna have a look at what we've got and go from there, all right.
Okay, so I think I've uh, worked out what I'm doing and then not. <laughs> so um, I'm not going to use the pasta or the flour this week because I'm going to use the chicken um, in this bulk up and two lots of chicken hopefully will give me three, maybe four meals if I bulk up with pasta and the mixed veg. I've put all my frozen stuff back in the freezer for now. Um, so yeah, basically wheat bix every day. I'll have a sandwich every day because, oh. And I found cheese in the fridge. So I'm gonna add that for my sandwiches. So that's some calcium every day. So then hopefully I'm going to do wheat bix every morning for breakfast because I could eat at breakfast, lunch and dinner. A sandwich every day dinner will alternate between lasagna or the chicken curry just depends and I'll probably have some left over to have for next week's meal and snacks uh, mandarins and brownies I'll probably have extra of the brownies to have as additional snacks and uh, same with mandarins because I do have two kilos uh, and also I'll probably make this jelly up for a bit of a dessert as well so uh, that's everything for this week. So, um, yeah, let's see how we go. I haven't put the potatoes in there yet, but I could have them as a base to this for one meal for something different. We'll see. All right, let's go. So just quickly, guys, to show you how all my costings worked out. For my lasagna, it will cost $5.49. So it will make six serves. I make it all the time, so I know that's how it works. I know with the mints I've only counted a full uh, $8.99 but I do have a packet of mints in there that's like about $4.50 so it all works out the same. Chicken curry is going to cost me $1.55. I'm hoping to get three serves out of that. We'll just have to see how we go. I was looking at making a chicken risoni but completely forgot I've used the chicken here and also I need wine and cream which can bump up the price to be a fair amount. And what I've done is, yeah, added the jelly in and the cheese. And I'm going to buy the milk that I got the other day on clearance. So 36 cents. So it's come to a total of $17.01. So I've got $4.19 left over uh, from my 21... My pen's running out. Whoops. 21.20 that I started with. So uh, if I find anything midweek, I can buy that. If not, I'm going to save it and there's going to be week three because I can't help myself. All right. We'll see you soon. was super super busy last week so I didn't get time to actually snack a lot so I actually still had food left over but I just ate it at different times it's crazy I can't explain it but basically I was fed for the whole week and yeah easily could have eaten wheat bix breakfast lunch and dinner um, I do have the jelly left over I didn't actually use that and the chicken curry made three serves, so I've still got two lasagnas left over that I'll put into next week's menu plan. And so I took off the cost of jelly, 
started with 21.20 and so I've still got $4.53 for next week's plan because I've got to do week three. There's still some other meals that I'd really love to do um, and I might even be able to cook a chicken risotto because I do know that there's a chicken special coming up and I can get a kilo of chicken, going to take a bulk of my money, but then I'm going to have chicken for days. So, We'll see how we go with that, so stay tuned for the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up and share it with other people because my last video hit over a thousand views and everyone's saying how good it is. As I said, I repeat my meals a lot because that's just the kind of person I am. But hey, most people eat the same thing for lunch every day, so I can't see why you can't do it for dinner, especially when you're really trying to save your money. and. I'm just happy to eat. I don't really care what it is. As long as it's not chickpeas, lentils or broad beans. <laughs> You're not going to see that on this channel. Alright, please subscribe to the channel to stay in tune with this crazy lady. And I'll see you next time. Bye.